There's a couple little adjustments that he finally kind of took to, especially with his hands, that uh, really made us kind of feel very positive about next year. He's just had too good a track record uh, at a young age and being a healthy guy with a lot of want to that for it not to be. You know, let's face it, he had an ERA that in years past for us would have been good enough in a lot of cases. But we had five guys pitching a little better than him, and we were in a very competitive situation that we had to put our best foot forward. And we think this year he's got a good chance to be part of putting our best foot forward. I, I think he's going to have a big year. Rule five and then having five pitches over 100. 102. Yeah. Well, right now it kind of moves around. I think everybody does. You know, the, part of the challenge is meshing that all together for a common goal. That's what's so fun when you got everybody pulling on the same rope. It's a challenge. But, you know, whether it's your scouting department, player development, you know, we talked about a lot when I first came up here about knowing who we are and who we're not. You know, not confusing the fans or the players or the system. There's a great morale in our system now because our farm system, our coaches, managers, scouts, they know what they do. Not that it's not important for the Red Sox or the Yankees, but you know, they're going to see the fruits of their labor in the big leagues here or being traded. You know, the, our guy, scouts took great pride in the fact that uh, the three guys we traded for very valuable pieces of our big leagues, they signed and developed those guys so our club could get them. And we're going to continue to try to do it that way.